today's video, it's all about making a core out of sodium silicate and I'm going to use a different method. The normal way is to use carbon dioxide gas and pass it through the core, but I'm going to use a microwave oven. But you're going to ask, why can you harden a sodium silicate core without carbon dioxide gas? It's because sodium silicate contains water. And this is what we've got. This is sodium silicate. It's been spilled. That's really rubbery. It's been exposed to the atmosphere. It's dehydrated. And that's what holds your core together. This is the first core I'm going to mix some sand with. Before I do, I'll just show you the correct weight is in the little container there. So what I do is in that container, I usually put a bit of a crater in there. So when I add the sodium silicate, it won't run to the sides and stick to everything and you'll get a lesser amount. So I just have to add 3%, that is the target amount. I reckon that's close enough. So what you do, make sure that the sand is thoroughly covered over the sodium silicate it doesn't stick to the sides of the container. Now we'll dump it in there. Just break it into little lumps. Keep doing that until it's thoroughly mixed. So this is what I do. I put it through a sieve because what happens is if you don't mix it properly you can get little balls of sodium silicate in there and they will cause blowholes. So when you do that, make sure you get rid of those little balls of concentrated sodium silicate that hasn't mixed properly. It'll break it up and it'll be ready now for putting into the mould.
This is the microwave I'm going to use. It's a Samsung 1000 watt output. Now I've tried it before, so roughly one minute seems to be enough to cure the sodium silicate core. That will dial up a minute and press the go button wherever it is, there it is. So what happened, I tried to film with the last microwave, pushed every button on the stupid touchpad, nothing would work. So now I've got another microwave and we'll see how it works. So the time I use is about a minute. So we'll just put on one minute and then start. So what I do, if that feels really hard, ow, that's hot, let that cool down for a second. Okay, the last microwave wouldn't work. The old keypad decided not to work, so I had to get another microwave. I'll put it in there. And we'll dial up two minutes. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's slightly warm. So what I do, I touch this part here to see if it's gone off. And we'll open it up. That's one side. Wow. Let that cool off a little bit. Okay, it's all cooled down. So I can see if we can get it out. Yeah, that was tight. It's about to come out. There you go. The microwave does harden sodium silicate. This is the second core I'm going to make. I'm using a simple PVC tube with a split down the middle. 
Now, one thing you've got to watch for with microwave ovens, some plastics are affected by the microwaves and will heat up. This one here, I tried it before and it does get warm, but that was because the core is getting hot because they're being heated up by the microwaves. So this time round I shall give it two minutes instead of one and I'm hoping that that plastic core mould will not distort too much. Yahoo, that's hot. We'll have to let that cool down a bit. Okay, the heat has distorted the plastic mould. So we'll see if we can get it out. See that worked? It's no problem at all. Except it has distorted the shape a little bit on the edge. So this here won't be completely round and that won't be completely round. So what you'll have to do with smaller cores like this and using PVC as a mould, you probably have to use much less time. I put two minutes, it's way too much. It started distorting your core mould. Here we are, there's the finished cores. Now I mean it was annoying that the microwave did break down, but using two microwave ovens it showed something up that I didn't see the first time round two minutes it seemed to be a lot stronger the core the first core I did at one minute this same core here it bent badly here like a banana so what happens is it hasn't gone off enough so you have to heat it up a little bit longer but this one here that's what I thought would happen the plastic started getting too hot so this is where you will have to be careful and try and use the minimum amount of time with the microwave oven and maybe just let them cool down and sit for a long time and they go completely off. But they do work. Both these cores are very strong. As you can see I can pick them up. And the microwave oven does work to harden sodium silicate. But if you use different microwaves this is where this might be a bit of a problem there sodium silicate is so cheap so just make up a few cores and experiment just how long you need to cook the cores in the microwave oven and it should work really well.